Hey everybody on here. Yeah, I got my hat on. You get to see one of my tattoos. It covers up the whole underside of my right arm and for some reason all of a sudden no light. Whatever. Um, if you look at it, it's a picture of a man and a woman um, embracing. Wrapping themselves around each other anyways. Okay, so I want to talk about van life and Having a, a pit bull as a traveling companion. Lots of challenges. Doesn't matter how sweet she is. Doesn't matter how well trained she is. She sits, she stays. She does bark at other dogs. Yes, that's a pitfall. I'm trying to get her to stop that. But, um, you know what? It, it doesn't matter how good the dog is. There are some people who just hate pit bulls. And they will go around to a camp and tell everyone there's a vicious dog. Betty's not a vicious dog. She's a sweetheart. She is a complete sweetheart. And, um, so, I don't know. It's really, really hard. Um, I mean, it's gotten so hard to the point where, I don't know. I mean, I, I would probably shrivel up and die if I had to get rid of Betty. I don't think I could go on. She, she's my buddy. She's my companion. I love her. We snuggle. But there's so many challenges because, like I said, some people are just totally ignorant to pit bulls. It doesn't matter if they're walking and not bothering anybody. It doesn't matter if they're just being cool dogs. There are still some people, they see a pit bull and they flip the hell out, especially if they got kids. And here's the thing. My dog is always under control. She's always tethered. She's always... She never... She never oh, got an itch. She um she never runs loose. So all these other dogs run loose. You know, and then and then kids you know, parents need to control their kids. If they are that concerned about their kids' safety, then they need to control their kids. I'm at uh, I'm at a different camp today. This morning a mother sent her young son. Now their camp is way across the street, okay? sent their son to come over my my van is parked in such a way that the barn doors open to the woods okay so my back is to all the people um because i just want to be left alone you know i mean i'm not i'm not a social camper i go camping to get away from people um so she sent her son who couldn't have been more than 12 13 years old over to my camp, he had to go out of his way to walk around and in front of my barn doors. Okay, it was it was weird. And so he came back and then Betty came out and barked at him. And I went out and looked at him and I says, are you the one that was came around, you know, and, and was looking in my uh, van before? And he says, yeah, sorry about that. And I'm like, please don't do that again. Okay. There were two guys camped next to me. And I don't know what it is, if it's because I've got all these tattoos if I've got this pit bull or because I'm in a van or because I just don't socialize and they're curious and they want to know who I am but these two old guys kept walking back and forth cutting through my camp looking in my kitchen window not the barn door window this the the other side looking in and I'm like so I took the this big heavy um, picnic table and pulled it on the, the slab that I was on, the, the pavement, so that they could not walk right where they were. I mean, if I could have stuck my hand out the window, I could have touched them. But they still did it. They kept walking back and forth right in front of my window. They didn't take the hint. So it's like, God, is it just me? Is there, is, is there something wrong with me, guys, that I don't want weird men coming right up next to my van and peering in my windows? You know, I mean, it's one thing kids, they come by, they, they peer in. You know, there were a couple kids that did it too. But, you know, for, for two grown men to be doing it or for a mother to send her, her adolescent teenage son around the my living quarters basically to peer into my van it was just weird is it is it me i have to ask i have to check myself against you is is that not good i don't understand is it because of my pit bull is it because of my tattoos is it i don't know what it is so the camp hosts today 
And now I've never seen them do this as long as I've been camping here. The camp hosts came in their little golf cart. Oh my God, a different place. A different place and people on freaking golf carts came around and they were starting to drive past my barn doors. And Betty would have shot out and just barked to hell to them. Well, I was able to stop her because I knew what was going on. I poked my head out and said, um, can I help you? Because I didn't know who they were, you know. They were just driving around and, and they were headed for the back door. Now, there's probably 10 feet between me and the woods, okay. They don't have a lot of room. And the woman said, oh, we're the camp host. We're just cleaning up the fire pits. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry. <sighs> Am I a bad camper? Am I antisocial? Is there something wrong with me? that I just want to, you know, when, when I get out here, I don't want to be by, uh, uh, around my family. I want to get away from them, seriously. I don't want to be around people. I deal with people all the time. I deal with people when they're at their absolute worst. I want to get away. I want to be alone. I want to be with my dog. My dog doesn't bother anyone. You come too close to the van, she's going to bark at you. But really, you have to be very, you have to be within 20, 30 feet of the van for her to alert. Otherwise, she's fine. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm just having trouble. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you've got some advice for me, please leave a comment. I seriously want to know what to do, if it's me or whatever. Anyway, y'all have a good one.